Bayside students, how you doing? My name is Colton Tucker. I come from our Granite Bay campus. I'm excited to be with you today. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our SOAP acronym when it comes to studying scripture. Easy way to do it if you don't know how to do it. It stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take us through a very popular passage in scripture. It takes place in Matthew in the Sermon on the Mount, and it is called the Lord's Prayer. Basically, Jesus teaching us how to pray. And I know there's a lot of you out there. Some of you say, man, Colton, if I were to be honest, prayer isn't a part of my life. Prayer is not something I do on a regular basis. Or maybe some of you are, was sitting there going, man, I want to pray, Colton, but there's just a lot going on in the world. And quite frankly, I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to pray for. There's just a lot happening. What, like, what do I say? And here's the cool thing. Jesus gives the exact words and the formula on how to pray. It happens in Matthew chapter 6, and we're going to be looking at verse 9 this morning, and we'll break down the rest of the Lord's Prayer the following days of this week. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. It says, This then is how you should pray. Very specific. Our Father in heaven, hallowed or holy be your name. I love how it starts. Jesus says, This is how you pray. Because some observations we can make from this is right before this, Jesus says, Man, hey, don't be like the hypocrites when you pray. Instructions on how not to pray. You see, they stand, uh, they pray by standing in their synagogues and street corners to be seen by others. Basically, they're making prayer about them rather than about God. And what I love about this is Jesus, as he starts off and says, man, this is how you pray, is he's saying, understand your perspective, that this is not about you. Because here's the main thought I want you to get, that your perspective changes the way that you pray. And that's what Jesus is saying right here. He's saying the very first thing that you should do when you pray is say, my father in heaven, holy is your name. That's what prayer is all about. Recognize who we are to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And some application I want you to do is right when we get off this and you shut this off is I just want you to put everything down. And I just want you to declare who God is in your life. Not just who he is in your life, but declare who God is. Stop there and say, man, God, you are perfect. God, you are holy. God, you are merciful. God, you are full of grace. God, you are full of love. And just begin to clear those things. You are creator. You are flawless over your life. And just begin to understand your perspective. Because when you understand that, guess what? It will change the way that you pray. And when you start with that, it changes your perspective. And so as we hop off here, we'll break down the rest of the verses this week. I want you to pause. And just declare how good God is and who he is in your life. And let that perspective shift the way that you pray this morning. God bless y'all.